Welcome to my channel, where we discuss everything on the audience, politics, economy, and development in Nigeria and around the world. Yes, the former governor of River State and now minister of the Federal Capital Threat Abuja, he said, Jagaban wanna be. He want to be like Jagaban the former governor of Lagos State and now president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. President Bola Tinubu. But he didn't know that what Tinubu was able to achieve in Lagos cannot be replicated anywhere else in Nigeria. Because Lagos is a special case. Because Lagos is a state that is dominated by non-indigenous and Bola Metidbo himself being originally from Oshun State is a product of that Lagos being a city or a state dominated by non-indigenous and the non-indigenous that dominated Lagos are not ready to shift ground for the indigenous Lagosians those whose ancestry cannot be traced outside Lagos to take over that state so because Lagos is predominantly a non-indigenous state, just like uh, what is playing out now even in the Federal Capital Territory Abuja, over time, the, the population of the Gwaris will be overwhelmed by other Nigerians coming into this Abuja. So Lagos, it was easier for Bola and Tinubu and all those non-indigenous Lagosians, many of them Yoruba, from Oshun, from Ogun, from uh, Ekiti, from all parts of Yoruba land, they congregate around Lagos and they took over Lagos. Now, it is easy for Bola and Tinubu and he has done it successfully since 1999 to pocket Lagos. He had Lagos in his pocket, like uh, Godfather uh, Otto would describe, like so many nickels and diamonds in his pocket. But it is difficult to replicate Lagos in another place. That is why Kwan Kwasu tried it in Kano. It did not work out. Ojo Zokalo tried it in Abia State, it did not work out. Several people have tried it in other states, it never worked out. What Tinubu did in pocketing Lagos has not been replicated. And yes, we can erroneously think that he can replicate it in River State. That is not possible. But he doesn't seem to understand this. He doesn't seem to appreciate that he cannot pocket River State the way Tinubu pocketed Lagos. But he keep on trying. He keep on trying. But his fingers will be burnt like all those who had tried to hijack other states in Nigeria and failed. He will fail too because only in Lagos can what happened in Lagos happen. It cannot be replicated anywhere. It is a political lesson that he so we can see here to learn. The other day he was in River State and he was literally insulting the former governor of River State, Peter Odele and his wife. Just disorder. What was their offense? Their offense is because they did not join him to facilitate the removal of Fubara, Simi Fubara, from office as the governor of River State. That is their offense. Yes, Owike was in River State recently. 
where he used words that you can call describe as insulting. Why did I say that? Because there are some words you use, people will know that you are not you are not doing it with reverence. Because orderly deserve to be treated with reverence. Because it was through the orderlies that even Yeshua eventually emerged. But orderly was not able to replicate what Tinubu did in Lagos. Orderly, orderly couldn't put rivers in his pocket like, uh, like Tinubu put Lagos in his pocket and like Wicked is trying to do. Now, when Wicked was in, in rivers recently and he was boasting about the things that he built, he said, I built a hospital. I built a cancer hospital and I named it after one man and I built a judicial institute and I named it after one woman. You can see. Now who is the one man he's talking about that word does not worth mentioning his name? Of course he knows that if he mentioned the name it will be somehow but even the way he said it, sent a message that he didn't do it with reference. You can see the way he mentioned Bola Metinbu these days with reference. Everywhere he mentioned something, he talk about uh, uh, President Bola Metinbu. Don't, dis don't, don't disappoint President Bola Metinbu. President Bola Metinbu did this. President Bola Metinbu do that. We are all working for President Bola Metinbu. He keep on saying that. But when you talk about that he built a cancer center and named it after one man, he is talking about the building of a cancer center that was named after former governor of River State, Peter Oden. And then the judicial institute he was talking about was named after Honorable Justice Mary Oden, retired. Beloved, retired. Now, if you watch that video, I will put the link under this video. I will try and put the link under this video. If you watch that video, he was talking about also, he made reference of that, that I learned that they have now a judicial consultant that she promised them that nothing they happen with her. By mentioning that thing, that they now have a judicial consultant. And when, she, when he now said that, she told them, she assured them that she is likely to be Mary Audley, what he was talking about. You can see the way he was mentioning about them. Not with reverence anymore. These are the people who, who he used to praise before for being the people that made him who he is. The people that made him to become local government chairman from where his bread was buttered and eventually became minister, governor, and now minister again. Because the orderlies gave him that opportunity to be a local government chairman. But look at how he's treating them. Now, knowing fully well that Rivers is not Lagos, he ought to have known that he cannot put orderly in his pocket. He cannot also put Chibi Keroti Biamechi in his pocket. These were governors before him. Tinubu didn't have any governor before him. Instead, what Tinubu now had was surrogates. After he left, he put his surrogates. But Yesomike's first attempt to put a surrogate did not work out. That was why in that video, you see why he was talking about do not. Never you trust any man who does not talk, anyone who doesn't talk. They say he's quiet, the person is quiet. Don't trust anybody. He was making reference to Fubara, that Fubara doesn't talk. But that is by the way. So you can see that Yesu Wike is trying to do what is nearly impossible to do outside Lagos in River State. That is why. He's talking down on Peter Obi, on Peter Odele and his wife. And uh, the offense is that they didn't join him 
to work for the impeachment. And according to how the story goes, the story said that uh, Felix Obua, I think the, the former chairman of PDP or thereabout, was allegedly recruited to convince Odele to support the impeachment of Simi Fubara. Odele, in his political wisdom, think that, thought that he there is a misunderstanding between Fubara and uh, and uh, and Wike. He said he was and he was ready to mediate instead of saying he will support. He said let, let, let him mediate, but his mediation effort was frustrated by Yeso Wike, according to the report. And the man insisted that it's not right. That after all, you are the one that brought this man in. I don't want to be part of. Uh, him be removed from office. If there's any problem, let us reconcile both of you. But Yesu Wike allegedly was insisting on removal of Fubara from office. That was where Odile had issued with him. Then Odile now becomes one man. And his wife, retired justice Mary Odile become one woman. So that's that is how Yesomike is moving to ensure that he puts rivers in his pocket the way that Tinubu put Lagos in his pocket. But he didn't know that Lagos cannot be replicated anywhere. What Tinubu did in Lagos cannot be replicated anywhere. It's not going to work anywhere else but in Lagos. Because I have, as I told you earlier in the beginning of this video, Lagos is a special case. Lagos has been taken over by non-indigenous, non-Yoruba indigenous people of Lagos. They took over that place. It will take a strong man from the real Lagosians to return back Lagos to where it should be in the hands of the Lagosians. But it is going to be difficult because the non-indigenous who have now claimed to be indigenous of Lagos are too overwhelming. And the, that status quo would like, they would like to maintain it because it benefits all of them at the detriment of non-Lagosians, of uh, indigenous Lagosians who doesn't have the numbers to be able to upstage them. That's a fact. So that is why Tinu was able to continuously put Lagos in his pocket. And then the elections have also been manipulated in Nigeria, including Lagos, to favor the incumbent and whoever they want to be there. Okay? It is true, and that is proven also by the fact that during the presidential election of 2023, you can see how Lagosians, most of them non-indigenous of Lagos, overwhelmingly rejected Bola Metinubu. And most of those people that voted against Bola Metinubu in the presidential election usually do not bother about participating in the election in Lagos State. Most of those non-indigenous, if they are doing Lagos state governorship election, they are not really interested. The first time they paid attention was during the the time of uh, during the time of uh, Gulag Jonathan when he was trying to come back in 2015, and he was doing everything possible to get Lagos support, and uh, was able to mobilize non-indigenous. You see many non-indigenous, up to five or six of them were able to get elected to the House of Representatives from Lagos. Because naturally most non-indigenous don't participate in the governorship election in Lagos State. So it was easier for non-indigenous, especially those from South, South and Southeast, let's be precise, do not really pay much attention to governorship election in Lagos State. 
but they paid attention in the 2015 election because they wanted to see how good luck should be able to take Lagos as it was all apparent that he, could, he can be able to take Ghana. So in the process, we found out that about five or six House of Reps members were elected from Lagos State. And that kind of thing replicated again in 2023 when overwhelmingly non-indigenous, most of them south and southeast. And then some of the Yorubas who are also non-indigenous of Lagos and they combined with the indigenous of Lagos. They voted for Peter Obi overwhelmingly. And there were reports that Peter Obi's vote, if it were not suppressed, was even overwhelming. The gap used in beating Tinubu in Lagos was so overwhelming. So, the, the, this is just to show that Lagos has literally surrendered to Bola and Tinubu. That kind of surrender, you can't get it anywhere in Nigeria. You can't get it in Kano. You can't get it in Jigawa. You can't get it in Niger. You can't get it anywhere else in Nigeria. Where one, an individual, put a whole state in his pocket. And that is what we can want to replicate. And that is why he's attacking even those who ought to be his godfather, if there is really any need to have a godfather in politics in Nigeria. The orderless. He moved, he's, he's talking down on them because they refuse to allow him to be the numero uno in River State. Yes, we he didn't know that what happens in Lagos remains in Lagos. It cannot be replicated anywhere in Nigeria. But it's a hard lesson that he will soon learn in the days, in the weeks, in the months, and in the years ahead. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell. Anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video. Because when you like it, God will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.